Hi guys, welcome back. We have another PowerPoint video that we want to show you today. Very similar to the last one that I posted where we went through how you can make a bar show something on the increase in Microsoft PowerPoint. So today we're going to do the opposite where we make something decrease so something that looks like it's going down as an animation. So you may want to use this in your PowerPoint presentations when you're showing something going down such as cost uh, or anything else that you want to show that's on the decrease. Okay, so I'm going to use the last video we made as the base for this. Okay, so we're going to take it from where we was last time. So if you haven't seen my last video, please go and check that out because you end up with something like this where you can make something look like it's on the increase. Like I've mentioned, we're going to show something going down. I'll post a link in the description for my last video so you can have a look at that. Um, go through those steps. If you want to make something look like it's going down, follow these steps now. So, we can see here where we started uh, with our last video, where we finished, sorry, where we have something on its way up. How do we make something look like it's going to decrease? First of all, I'm going to remove the animations that we have. Okay? Now, just to make this clear, we have our three cans. Okay? We need three cans to make something look like it's going to reduce. Okay? So, I'm just going to re remake this. Our animation is very simple. We want to click our middle can, the can that moves. Now, last time, remember, I mentioned that you can have something wipe in or wipe out, something that is an entry animation or an exit animation. The only different thing we do here is we actually use an entry wipe. So we're going to add an animation in that's an entry wipe, but we're going to change this slightly. You can see at the moment, I'm just going to extend this animation so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, You can see at the moment what's happening is it doesn't look visually um, any good. It's doing the wrong thing. We want to change the effect. So once you've pressed wipe, your can should do this, which is not what we don't want it to do. It's going in the wrong direction. You want to press effect options and click from top. Now straight away, you can see it works. Uh, very simple. I'm just going to press this again so you can see. So all we've done is add an animation in, an entry wipe in green, and we've gone from effect options, and we've clicked from top. Very similar to what we did last time. Show something on the decrease. Okay, I'll show you this in large. Very simple, very effective, very visual. I hope this helped. Again, any comments, suggestions, drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you later on. See you next time.